Hello everyone, now look into this news, the dangerous illusion caused by the development rankings. So here the article mainly criticizes the human development index or commonly known as the HDI as it does not consider the environmental degradation done for the human development and how there is unsustainable models of progress and it does not consider the sustainable practices. So in light of this article, first let us see a mains practice question. How do the climate change and environmental degradation impact the HDI? Suggest strategies for sustainable human development in India. So, here I ask these students to put in their comment answer and it will be reviewed for this question. So, let us look into first what is human development index or the HDI. So, it is the summary index of the measure of the average of these three key dimensions which includes health, education and standard of living. So, here HDI can be considered as the geometric mean. So, here mean is nothing but the average. So, here it brings in the numerical average of the normalized indices of these three dimensions that is the health, education and standard of living. So, here uh, the publisher of this report is the United Nations Development Program UNDP under the HDI uh, which is published per year. So, these are the criteria among these three key dimensions when it comes to health it is the long and healthy life, when it comes to education knowledge and when it comes to the standard of living how a decent standard of living is being provided. So, this is the indices for the HDI. Now, let us look into the limitations of the HDI. So, HDI not only today, but it has been criticized uh, even before as it, it does not consider many other aspects. So, first let us see what are these aspects. First, it ignores the inequalities. So, here it brings in a limitation of how it does not take in account of the disparities of the people when it comes to these same income categories in itself because here to measure the HDI income is one of the criteria. So, here it uh, brings in inequality by not taking into account of the disparities present in the income communities or in the income categories. Next is no consideration of sustainability. So, here one of the main criticism when it comes to the HDI is how it does not intake the environmental degradation and other environmental problems like the carbon emissions and so on. So, there is no focus on sustainable development. Next, it limits uh, has limited economic representation. So, what is economic representation? So, here the HDI takes in the account of the GNI that is the gross, nas uh, gross national income. So, here, here it takes in account of the income that is the gross national income brings in the average uh, of the income by each of the resident in the country whereas it does not consider the wealth of the country that is the total assets of the nation. So, here thus it brings in a narrow representation economic representation where it does not include the wealth of the country. Next it excludes human rights and freedom. So, here it only takes in account of the income, uh, income generation and other key standards that is the health and education education, but here it excludes human rights and freedom such as the other factors like political, social, economical, other gender factors, other con um, war related factors and so on. So, finally, it does not assess the quality of services. So, it only it takes the numerical mean that is the average mean of the three key dimensions given, but it does not assess the quality of those three dimensions. They are not seeing whether the health services of the country is, uh, is it accessible, next education has its accessibility or next the standard of living has their accessibility even within the categories of different income generators. So, these are the key limitations found in the HDI. So, here since the HDI has been criticized a lot, the UN brought in an alternative report or index that is the planetary pressures adjusted human development index. So, it is known as the PHDI which was introduced in 2020. So, here it stands as an alternative where they take in these factors into account. So, let us see what are these. First, it adjusts for the environmental impact. So, here it brings in uh, adjustment of the environmental impact such as including the carbon emissions uh, 
per capita and also other material footprints. Next, it reflects intergenerational inequality. So, here they take in the account of the sustainable development and how uh, the environmental degradation holds sustainability for the future generation or not. Next, it declines with higher planetary resource pressure. So, here if the PHDI is higher, it declines along with the, it declines below the HDI. So, here it, on overall the HDI also decreases. So, the main idea is to keep accountability or keep hold of the HDI when it comes to the economic degradations. So, how it is calculated? It uses an adjustment factor. So, here it is calculated as HDI into 1 minus the uh, index of the planetary pressures adjusted human development index. So, here they take in account of the environmental uh, strains which has led to the human development index. So, here when they are calculating human development index in discount of the economical degradation, how much is been provided. So, that is the adjustment factor. So, here as I told before, it brings in accountability of the human development index in reference to the environmental degradation. So, finally, it encourages sustainable development as the end as its main goal is to bring a balance between the environment as well as on the human development. So, it should go hand in hand. So, if the PHDI increases, it decreases the HDI on a whole. So, now we need to know a need for the alternative model. So, here uh, comparing India, there are many other middle income countries offer better models of sustainable development. So, here in HDI, we can see India ranks 134th place and countries like Costa Rica which uh, ranks 64 and country like Sri Lanka ranks 78. So, comparing India, these countries are middle income countries, but still they make a higher rank in the HDI. So, here Costa Rica has achieved high life expectancy and literacy and uh, Sri Lanka's investment in social welfare and environmental sustainability have brought in alternative models and brought in sustainable developed models where it leads to progress. So, here not only they take in the value of money, but they also take in other factors when it comes to the dimensions. So, what is the lesson for India? So, comparing with other countries, we should also know, we should bring in criteria and we should bring in arguments which is suitable for our country India as it comprises 1.4 billion people and we can't afford to mimic or to uh, generate high in, like the high income nations on the consumption pattern. So, even in many uh, COPs conducted, we as a country, we put in our arguments on how it is <clears throat> difficult to be representing the developed as well as the developing countries. So, here it is a bit constrained for us to mimic high income nations consumption patterns. So, first we must seek alternative development pathways. So, that first we bring a balance between the environmental and with the human development in reference to the social justice of the people. So, here sustainable and equitable growth should be the focal point.